this is a short section where we have to explain how the radii of nuclei may be estimated from charged particle scattering experiments. We don't actually find out what the nucleus, we just get an estimation of what it is. Now, the idea is that if we send an alpha particle at fire an alpha particle at a nucleus, it's not going to collide with the nucleus, but it will get very close. And um, how close we get gives an idea of how big the nucleus is. Uh, so we basically calculate the, the distance of closest approach. So this is the atom here with the nucleus in the middle and we basically fire this alpha particle at the nucleus and, it, and it's moving towards it but then it will be rapidly uh, accelerated away as it approaches the nulus due to the 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 coulomb force or the electrostatic repulsion so this is what we have so we start off with giving it a high kinetic energy the way we give it a high kinetic energy is that we ionize the particle um, either we are ionize an atom or we have uh, some radioactive particle um, and we can um, accelerate it, we can accelerate using, using a voltage. Um, so it's got a high kinetic energy to start with and as far as we're concerned it's, it's at infinity uh, distance away so it has zero potential energy. When it gets very close to the nucleus it basically comes to halt as it's been pushed away and there will be one point when it, its velocity will be zero, so in other words the kinetic energy will be zero. And it means that the potential energy, this repulsive potential energy that we'll have, will be at a maximum. So this is quite easy. You basically, if you know that you're accelerating a particle through 100 volts, you're giving it 100 electron volts, or 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 times by 100. And this is the number of joules that will be given. This is all going to be turned into potential energy. Now, there's an equation in the high-level syllabus for calculating the potential energy of a, a charged particle and that's th this the potential energy is equal to kqq over r not over r squared but over r so if we're able to get the kinetic energy and can find the value for this we know what k is the coulomb constant we know what the charge of the particle we're firing at is the, the charge of the nucleus we know the charge of the particle that we're firing and then we can find r so you basically need to rearrange this to get r. This is the distance of closest approach. And the next page is an example of this. Let's go through an example of this. Um, so we have a part, another particle. The potential energy is equal to zero. Um, and we give it kinetic energy by accelerating it through. Uh, um, OK, we start with a of written alpha particle, but it could be a helium nucleus, it could be ionized helium accelerating in, in a voltage, and then, then it's uh, approaching the nucleus, a gold nucleus, which is a, a, an atomic number of 79, which means it has uh, 79 protons, a charge of plus 79 units. And when it's at its point of closest approach, the potential energy is going to be the highest value, and the kinetic energy will be the minimum value, or zero. So the kinetic energy that it has on the left is turned into potential energy here. So this is the equation for the potential energy. This is the equation for the kinetic energy, which is given by, its, um, by, given by the accelerating voltage. Or if you know the velocity directly, you can work out the kinetic energy. Now you need to remember how the accelerating voltage equates to the kinetic energy. For example, if we have a potential difference of 4 volts, uh, how much do you give to an, an alpha particle? Well, if you were to give it to one electron, that one volt will give you one electron volt, but um, an alpha particle has a, a plus 2 charge, so it's going to be 2 lots of 1 volt will give 2 electron volts. In this case, we have 4 volts, so it's going to be 2 lots of 4, which will be 8 electron volts, times by the charge of one electron and we end up with 1.28 times 10 to the negative 18 joules. This is the um, kinetic energy that is turned into potential energy. This will be equal to the potential energy when it's closest to the nucleus. So this, potential, this kinetic energy turns into this potential energy and from that we can 
this kinetic energy turns into this potential energy and from that we can find out R. You know the Coulomb constant 9 times 10 to the 19. The charge on 1 is 2 times by 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 which is the charge on the alpha particle and Q2 is 79 times by 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 because that's the charge on a gold nucleus. So you equate them. Where does this energy come from? It comes from the accelerated voltages here. So it's 1.28 times 10 to the negative 18, which of course comes from here. And we know the values for K, Q, Q, and we need to find R. So we just need to uh, do that. Rearrange. We find that the radius is equal to 2.844 times 10 to the negative 8 meters. Now this is a very large amount. Um, this is well outside the atom. So um, we can assume that this 4, four volts will not be accelerated in the particle enough to make a, a significant um, entrance into the atom. It's not going to come within 100 atom width, widths of the nucleus. So it's far too small a voltage.